Hi, Chatter with Purple Color Life. Today's video, we're going to work on this trailer. I was towing the zero turn up to the property to mill it the other day. A guy pulled over behind me and told me that my turn signal wasn't working. So I pulled into the property, checked things out. Brakes were working. Right hand turn signal was working. Left hand turn signal was doing absolutely nothing. Now, normally I have a nice little tester, but that's actually at a job site. I just got back from traveling from work and my tools aren't back home yet. So I'm gonna have to use the multimeter here, but I'll start with the truck first and see if I can determine that that's what the problem is. Sometimes it's just a bad ground between the truck and the trailer. So first we'll make sure the truck wiring is working correctly for the trailer. Then we'll connect up and we'll try to do some testing back here at the light and figure out why this left-hand turn signal is not working. These are LED bulbs, so they shouldn't be burnt out. And even if they were, it certainly wouldn't be all of them. So there's some type of an issue possibly in the trailer with just this left-hand light. Let's see what we can find out when we do some diagnostics. We'll start out here at the back of the truck. You can see I've got my four ways on just for some lighting. So I can do some testing here. I'm setting everything to volts DC. We'll start with a little plug first. Looks like we're getting voltage in those. It's nice on here. It tells me what things are. Electric brakes, right hand stop turn. Left hand stop turn is the left hand prong. So right here. I don't have a great place to ground to because I just had the truck oil undercoated. So that could be part of our problem. Seems like when I touch on the ground in the left hand turn, it is showing voltage. So let's go ahead and connect to the trailer. Maybe it just was a loose connection. So before I actually connect to the trailer, I've got enough cord here that I can do some testing and see if the lights are working. So I'm, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and use this cloth, wipe this out a little bit, put a little dielectric grease in it. We're gonna plug that in, we'll give it a try. Running light, so I can see my fingers on. My markers are on. I do have running lights, all three lights in the back. Fender and two markers on this side are also good. Marker lights on. Fender lights on. Marker lights on. Tail lights are on. Running light up above is on. Tail light, marker light, fender light, marker light up in the corner. Okay, so here we can see we do have an issue. Right hand turn signal is flashing. Left hand turn is not. You can see on the truck my left hand turn signal is flashing. Nothing back here on the trailer. Just in case the problem's in my seven way connection, I'm going to take this adapter off and use the four way to see if that fixes anything. Well, there we go. We've got flashing lights now with the four-way connection. So perhaps the problem is either in my seven-way adapter or in my seven-prong connection right here. But at least we know it's not a trailer wiring issue, at least not that we can see at this point.
and just the left turn signal on. We're working here on the truck. We're working here at the trailer. We'll try using the probes here. Let's clean out in case there's any corrosion. Put a little grease in these. Let's try this again. See, I won't even stop the camera. Still got our left turn signal going. There we go, left turn signal's working now. So it must have just been between the four way and the seven way, needed cleaned up and some little dielectric grease on it. We're back in business. I'm gonna go ahead and connect up. Now I'm certainly no electrical expert, but part of Purple Color Life is knowing enough about research and how to look things up on YouTube and other forums to figure things out. And I'll tell you a couple cool tools. Obviously a multimeter. I have that light that I said is in my tool bag on the way back from a job site. So I don't have that with me right now, but this worked for testing to make sure I had voltage back here at the plug. We were able to troubleshoot that the trailer wiring was all good. The ground was good. And with the four prong, we were getting the proper lighting. So then that kind of narrowed it down to either the seven prong outlet or the seven prong adapter that goes from seven to four for my trailer. A little bit of dielectric grease, always good to have on hand in the garage and we were able to get that working. So I'm glad that we were able to troubleshoot this, resolve the problem. We'll be safe towing the trailer now up to the cemetery to mow. If you like videos like this, give us a thumbs up, comment down below, share with your friends and we'll see you again the next time. little plug here for the Ford Trailer Connect cameras because this takes me about 10 times on average by myself to hook the ball up with the hitch. Now when the trailer's empty, I can actually jimmy it myself if it's not quite on, but the zero turn's already in there, so it's too hard to move around. Jennifer wasn't here to help guide me back. A little trick about these, if you weren't not, if you weren't sure, our tailgate does close. But this, in order to keep it from vibrating, moving around and dropping down, the Carmate brand has a lock-in place position. It keeps it from spinning around and the jack stand going down and catching on the road. Here we do a light touch. 